Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, I was born and raised in uh, Phoenix, which is the next city over, and uh, grew up here. I ended up going to college down in Tucson, University of Arizona. I always thought about being a police officer when I was younger, and I applied, and luckily I got on, and I've been doing it now for about three years. Been a field training officer for about uh, eight months or so now, and it's the best job in the world, and I wouldn't trade it for any other job. I'm trying to find out, do we have shots fired or what's the deal? We joined something too. That was me. We have an officer called out that he was in pursuit of a vehicle, and about 30 seconds after that, he put out a 998, which the officer involved shooting. Um, we don't have any other information right now. We don't know who's been shot, if anybody's been shot, or what exactly is going on. We're going to try to get down there and figure it out. In your knees. I'm gonna roll you up on your right side. Ready? One, two, three. Right over here. Spread your feet for me. Spread your feet. Lean over the car. Lift up. Lift up. Okay. No, you sure you're all right? Yeah, he got, oh, he got hit in the back of the head. Okay. You know, but you can get everything okay. off that. Okay, have a seat. Go ahead. Yes, Where are we going to five? Yeah. Okay. Let him put his head down just relax. Officer Barry, can you tell us what happened real quick? Well, here's what happened was... Uh, one of the other officers on my squad, Officer Johnson, yes, Brad, I am 97, uh, rolled up on a convenience store a just as uh, the, the driver of the truck and his passenger were doing to a beer run. He, ran in and grabbed the pack of beer. And um, he took, uh, took a short chase on him, uh, not even a chase, he just pulled in behind him and pulled him over. And, uh, you know, after that, there was just some garbled words on the radio. It sounds like the guys perhaps... Um, just speculating at some point must have tried to hit him with the vehicle or something and take off and it uh, looks like uh, judging by the truck and the injury officer Johnson uh, took fire on the truck since it was uh, being used as a weapon against him and this is the outcome great thanks looks like you got the beer inside there that apparently they took from the AMPM looks like we got an entry uh, from the glass inside and I don't know where they looks like one came out here it appears right now he just got a grazing wound on the side of the head. It's bleeding pretty good. So we're going to have the fire department check him out, make sure he's okay. He's conscious and alert right now. He's talking, so 
Looks like he just might have got grazed. We're going to head over to the AMPM where uh, the whole thing started and see what we got going on over there. We just left the scene over there where the suspect had gotten uh, shot. He had a grazing wound in the head. And now we're going to head over to where the call originated over at the Arco. It's a gas station and convenience store type thing and see what we can find out on this end. What it seems like is when officer pulls up, he looks through the glass window and sees the clerk motioning that he just got robbed or some kind of theft just happened. He looks over his other shoulder, sees another officer being drug away, half in, half out of the vehicle. Some shots were fired, and I guess you guys cleaned it up, picked it up at the end. Okay. Yeah, I just, you know, when something like that happens, you know, split-second decision, officer's life's in danger, and he's going to have to right. do what he has to do, so... And apparently we caught him on the other end, and it all worked out for us this time. So. Yeah, it seems good to go now. Okay, good. Thanks. All right. Looks like everything turned out good for the officers and, well, for the suspect. He doesn't have life-threatening injuries. Uh, just goes to show you, you know, anything can happen out here, and you always got to be on your toes. Mason.